Wenatchee Valley real estate market update for March 2024. Home prices are up, sales are up, and inventory is down. So what does it mean for you, the homeowner and future buyer in Wenatchee Valley? I'm about to tell you. My name is Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group. Over the last 11 years, we have led the industry in real estate sales throughout North Central Washington, from Lake Chelan all the way over to Leavenworth. We've sold over 5,000 homes, and every single day we track the marketplace. And we're looking at very key indicators to help our clients make the best data-driven decisions. Now, in real estate, it's hard to time the market. It's more about the time in the market. And when you're in the marketplace looking, you find the best deals. When you're not looking, you miss the best deals. So a lot of our clients, they'll be looking for years. We've had clients looking for homes in Lake Chelan, Leavenworth, Wenatchee for years. Very specific criteria looking for the right opportunity. We have homeowners that touch base with us for years. In fact, I just talked to a gentleman in Sunny Slope that is thinking about selling his house. I met him seven years ago. We met at his office. But since I know so much about his property and I've been tracking the marketplace, he knows that I'm the right person that has the right mixture of marketing and expertise that can think outside the box to sell his home for the most money. So let's dive into what's actually happening in the marketplace. Sales are up. This is strange because I reported last month sales were down. In fact, sales are up 26% compared to February of last year. 49 total sales. Let me say that again, 49 total to sales. So it's a little misleading. I mean, 49 is not a lot. It's really not a lot. I mean, we have, you know, 50,000 people search our website for homes every single month and we only sold 49 of them. What's going on with that? Well, it's it's up 26%, but we compared it to something that was really low. Last year, there was only 39 sales in February. Very, very low. February is a weird month. There's just not a lot of days. And I think the leap year probably had something to do with, you know, the added sales. It's that simple. Now, Listings are down. This is shocking. And this is something everyone needs to pay attention to. Listings, active listings down 27% compared to last year. They're down 9% from January. There's only 83 homes on the market compared to 114 last year. Only 83 homes on the marketplace. There were over 1,200 homes on the marketplace. Compare that to now 83. 1,200 homes to 83 homes. And there's more people in Wenatchee Valley. And there's people, more people wanting to move to Wenatchee Valley. Inventory is not going to be solved for the next 10 years. We are not going to solve inventory. Builders aren't building. Uh, the cities aren't being progressive enough in, in infrastructure. The zoning is not allowing any development. Locals and NIMBYism, which is not in my backyard uh, syndrome, they're not, they don't want people. So, I just don't see single family home inventory going up anytime soon, which is relating to the price. It's making things less affordable. But if you're a homeowner, good news, your home value is going up. And if you can buy a home and get time in the marketplace, your home's going to be worth more in the future. I know it seems crazy. Interest rates are high. Prices are at an all time high. Affordability is on an all time low. So how can I be saying prices are going to continue to go up? Because the, we're not solving for inventory. It's not going to happen. So if you can buy yourself a home, it will be worth more money in the future in Wenatchee Valley. I 100% believe it. The median sales price is up 13% to 492. The average sales price is 433 up 7%. Now, here's the thing. We saw a dip. So prices during the COVID boom, they went up to 4 or 545, 550 and they dropped. People didn't report that. Prices went down 6%. So really what we're doing is we're seeing we're seeing the, the inventory or the sales price rebound. The average sales price to the list price ratio is 94%. So if you put your home on the market, you're going to get 94% of what you put on the market for. Our team is beating that left and right. We're getting full price offers. We're getting multiple offers. We're beating that because of our marketing and our expertise. If you have a home and you're thinking about selling it because, hey, prices are at an all-time high. Give us a call. We think outside the box. We can maximize the value. Now, the 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 pro and con here, or the catch-22 is where are you going to go? Well, we have ways to find you really good deals on the buy side when we represent you to buy things. Or maybe you're moving in the another area, Idaho, Montana, California, Texas, Florida, you name it. Maybe you're moving, Arizona. 
and you're going to just go to a different place. So reach out to us, 255-8070-509-255-8070, or find the link if you're watching this video on YouTube or, or other places, find the link, go to our website, reach out to us. The website's interactive. I know it seems like it's just for you, but actually there's human beings on the back side of it. You have an inquiry, hit the button. You have a question, hit the button. You want to talk to a real human? I promise you, I'll get you in touch with a real estate expert in the area. Again, prices are up, inventory's down. That's not going to change, unfortunately. So buyers, Get a house where you can. Get in the marketplace. Get a chess on the chessboard. If you already have a chess on the chessboard, you know, you have a low interest rate, maybe keep it. Buy another house, keep the house you currently have. Maybe don't sell it. Maybe rent it. Had a client come into the office yesterday and he's like, Nick, I got a cash 22 here. I can't buy a home until I sell my home, but I can't, I don't want to buy a home because I don't want two mortgages. I said, have you considered just keeping your home and renting it? He's like, really? I never thought about that. I go, yeah, your mortgage is only $1,100 a month. I, the market would rent your home for $2,600. You're going to make $1,500 a month. That $1,500 a month, even though you have a higher interest rate on the new home and your payment's going to be much higher on the new home, that $1,600 a month extra is going to pay for your mortgage or the majority of your mortgage. He's like, oh my gosh, I got to go home right now and tell the wife. So he literally left the office, went and told his wife. So that is a game plan. There are game plans. There are moves we can make. So that's the market update. Nate McLean, I'm always here. We're your real estate related resource for North Central Washington.